Hi folks, Raghava Kashyapai here, CEO of Qualitas Technologies. Um, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a typical uh, machine vision solution that Qualitas uh, develops and, and also walk you through the process of how we actually go about solution development. So as you know, any kind of machine vision solution in, in an assembly line or factory automation setting has two components. There is the image acquisition and then there's image processing. Image acquisition is the component which ensures um, optimal images are captured for the particular inspection task at hand. So let's say you're trying to identify a small object and a defect on that small object is gonna appear even smaller. So you need to make sure that there's sufficient magnification to ensure that the you know, small defect and the small part is highlighted and gives you, you know, sufficient coverage in the image viewing area. So for that, you need to make sure that the lens and the optics are designed in the right uh, way. So let's take an example here. This is a small part. We are um, trying to identify a very tiny uh, defect inside this hole. The hole is about you know, 300 microns and the defect sizes in these areas are probably even smaller. We're talking about as thin as a human hair. So any occlusions in those areas. Not a very complicated uh, uh, application, but you know, if the wrong image acquisition setup is used, then it's going to get very challenging. So before we even start any kind of solution development, we optimally design. We, we look at the part and we look at you know what is the optimal image acquisition design components. You know what lighting needs to be used, what illumination needs to be used, what optics is the right optics to pair with the camera, and of course the camera itself, which is you know what kind of resolution is required. So if we take a look at the close up here, since it's a very small component, um, in this particular case, it's, it's a handheld uh, application which requires a part to be placed um, in front of the camera. And given the very small area, we, have, we are utilizing um, a zoom lens. So in this particular scenario, the optimal mechanism was to manually load the component onto the jig. So it's not an automated line, it's manually placed. So we've designed a fixture to optimally place this so and, and hold it in a very simple way. So you just place this here and you know, you, you trigger this. Now there's a couple of trigger options uh, to facilitate, you know, smooth operator triggering. You can press a manual push button um, and then have the system get triggered. And in, in this case, the result is then displayed on the screen. You can see that the the hole is not occluded and it is, uh, it's actually uh, as it's supposed to be. There's no uh, foreign particles or any obstructions or burrs within that hole. So again, very, very hard to see, very tiny component. Let's take another example. So another way to trigger this is also using a foot pedal. So, you know, a simple foot pedal, which you trigger, which also gives you, which, ha which has the same effect. So, you know, the operator also has an indication in terms of a tower lamp, green to indicate that the uh, operation passed. Now let's see, let's, let's, let's see what happens when you load a bad sample. So this is a particularly bad example, bad sample which has some occlusion in it. So I'm gonna trigger it with the, and, so we can get creative in terms of how the notification is sent. So either a power, tower lamp or a buzzer and then there's an automated rejection system. Again, all this material handling, loading is completely customized. It's tailored for the application at hand. The software on the other hand is built upon a standard Eagle Eye platform where with certain examples, with very few images, uh, models can be trained and a solution can be quickly developed. So we're trying to leverage the best of both worlds to make sure that, you know, um, the best image acquisition and optimal image acquisition ensures the capture of very tiny and very clear images, but at the same time leveraging the power of AI and a standard uh, platform to be able to develop solutions really quick. Now, uh, there's a lot more to the Eagle Eye platform. You can, you can of course, train um, and have a fully functional, um, you know, working model within a matter of days with maybe you know, 10, 20, 30 images with less than 100 images. Um, and then after deployment as well, there's functionality within the platform to monitor these to ensure that, you know, the uh, expected performance is being uh, derived from the system. So in case there's things like image drift or model drift, which is 
uh, the early signs of you know errors creeping into your system we get notified immediately and you can take corrective action as well so a lot more that's built into this uh, system so once we design and deploy it it's it's meant to be a long running um, and robust and reliable solution to ensure that there's an autonomous or uh, manual free uh, operation and judgment in the decision making of quality control